The Earth's temperature is rising alarmingly, with devastating consequences for our planet's ecosystems and inhabitants. From melting glaciers to extreme weather events, the effects of global warming are becoming increasingly visible and impossible to ignore. As one of the most densely occupied cities in the world, Singapore is no stranger to the sweltering heat that comes with urbanization. Over the past few decades, the city-state has seen an increase in average temperatures and the frequency of heat waves. This temperature rise can lead to various negative impacts, including a strain on energy resources as people use more air conditioning. But what did Singapore do to beat the heat? Singapore has long been a leader in leveraging cutting-edge solutions using innovation and technology to improve city living. It has taken steps to mitigate the effects of rising temperatures, such as implementing measures to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and investing in green infrastructure. However, continued efforts were required to reduce the impacts of climate change because just adding more green was not solving the issue. So what did Singapore do next? In this video, we will take a dive into the depths of technological advancements incorporated by Singapore to combat its heat island effect. So, watch till the end to discover what keeps Singapore cool. Before moving on to technological incorporations, let's talk about the heat island effect. Have you ever noticed how much hotter the city feels than the countryside? That's because of the heat island effect, where urban areas experience significantly higher temperatures than surrounding rural areas. It's caused by various factors, including the abundance of heat-absorbing surfaces like concrete and asphalt and the lack of green spaces to provide shade and coolness. Think of it like a giant concrete oven with buildings and pavement trapping heat and releasing it into the air. It's like the city has a fever and we are all feeling the heat. The heat island effect can seriously affect our health, energy consumption, and the environment. Singapore and other urban cities act like giant heat traps, making even the most pleasant summer day feel like a scorching inferno. So, when it is hot, only one thing comes to our minds. Ah, the air conditioner, the cool, refreshing oasis in the scorching heat of summer. But wait, did you know that while an air conditioner is meant to cool you down, it ends up heating the environment? Yes, you read that right, the very thing you rely on to beat the heat contributes to global warming. Similarly, in Singapore, air conditioners using refrigerant to absorb heat from the air inside the homes were transferring it outside. This process generated waste heat, which was released into the surrounding environment. The hotter the temperatures, the more air conditioners are being used, the more waste heat they generate, and the more the city contributes to the overall warming of the environment. So, while air conditioning provided temporary relief from the heat, Singapore realized it was important to find more sustainable solutions. The city began to consider alternatives like natural ventilation or energy-efficient cooling systems. So, what ways is Singapore implementing to beat the heat island effect? Initially, Singapore tried to solve this problem by increasing the greenery in the cityscape. Natural cooling could be produced by incorporating various vegetation types near the urban infrastructure. It proved to be very successful for Singapore. The government implemented a variety of initiatives, including the planting of more than 7 million trees and the creation of over 300 parks and green spaces. These lush parks and green spaces, including the Singapore Botanic Gardens, provide the city with tremendous shade and work effectively to reduce the heat island effect. The city went ahead and developed a network of park connectors too. This meant that parks and green spaces were connected throughout the city, providing a cool and shaded path for pedestrians and cyclists. Since Singapore lacks land, it had to think of something else to add more green spaces. This was when they began promoting vertical greenery, such as green walls and rooftop gardens, which became increasingly popular in the city. Very quickly, these green roofs and vertical gardens integrated into the building designs to help reduce heat absorption. If you stroll through the city, you will witness how many buildings have installed green roofs. This efficiently reduces heat absorption and improves air quality. These green features help mitigate the impact of high temperatures by absorbing and dissipating heat through evapotranspiration. These efforts have not only helped to reduce the city's temperature, but have also contributed to a more livable and sustainable environment for its residents. Singapore also took another unique approach, turning to its waterways which played a key role in reducing the heat island effect. Singapore's waterways, which include canals, rivers, and reservoirs, act as natural coolants by absorbing the heat from the surrounding environment. This reduced the temperature of the surrounding area. 
In addition, the water also helped reflect sunlight, further reducing the amount of heat that is absorbed. But that's not all. Singapore has also implemented several measures to enhance the cooling effect of its waterways. For example, they have created floating wetlands, essentially floating gardens that help absorb heat and filter pollutants from the water. However, Singapore continued adding more sustainable technologies to reduce the heat island effect. One such technology uses cool pavements with high solar reflectance and emissivity to minimize heat absorption. These pavements can reduce surface temperatures by up to 5 degrees Celsius. The city also uses smart streetlights that adjust their brightness according to the surrounding environment, reducing energy consumption and heat emissions. But what makes Singapore's urban planning incredibly advanced is its underground water pipeline cooling system. It is the coolest thing after ice cream. Instead of relying on traditional air conditioning methods, the city uses a network of pipes to pump chilled water to buildings for cooling purposes. It's like a giant air conditioning system, but instead of using electricity to cool the air, it's using good old H2 ohms to get the job done. This district cooling system, DCS, is a game changer for the city's energy efficiency and sustainability. It's not just a pipe dream, either. The system pumps water from four reservoirs around the island and sends it to buildings through a network of pipes. The water is then used in air conditioning systems, reducing energy consumption and carbon emissions. Not only does this system keep the city cool, but it's also a smart solution to reduce the urban heat island effect. It's like the pipes are the city's arteries, pumping cool water to every building like a refreshing glass of lemonade on a hot day. This cooling system reduces the heat island effect and the demand for individual cooling systems in buildings, making the city more energy efficient and sustainable. So the next time you are strolling around Singapore's central business district, take a moment to appreciate the cool breeze because it's all thanks to those hard-working underground pipes. And this is not the end. Not content with blasting air conditioning and raising energy bills, Singapore also developed another sustainable approach. The city is no doubt a jungle of concrete. They have used high-rise buildings to create more space to counter their lack of land. But the more buildings, the more heat absorption. To counter this, Singapore designed their buildings in a way that they prevent them from absorbing heat in the first place. Singapore's architects and engineers have implemented various clever techniques to keep their buildings cool. One of the most effective methods is using sunshading devices, such as overhangs and fins, preventing direct sunlight from entering and heating the building. In addition, many buildings are designed with double skin facades, which create a layer of air between the exterior and interior walls that helps to insulate the building and reduce heat transfer. Some Singapore buildings have exterior surfaces designed to reflect sunlight rather than absorb it. These surfaces can be made of glass, metal, or white paint. Some facilities have roofs that are painted with reflective coatings or made of materials that reflect sunlight. These cool roofs can reduce the temperature inside the building by several degrees. Furthermore, Singapore also incorporates natural ventilation systems into its building designs, strategically placing openings and using air vents and shafts to create a natural airflow that allows hot air to escape and cooler air to enter. This not only reduces the need for air conditioning, but also provides a healthier, more comfortable environment for the building occupants. Singapore is at the forefront of sustainable and resilient urban design, from green roofs and walls to advanced cooling systems and smart urban planning. It's a shining example of how innovation and environmental consciousness can go hand in hand, even in the hottest climates. So if you want to beat the heat and enjoy a city as cool as a cucumber, look no further than Singapore. Thanks for joining us, and until our next video, stay cool!